green, period. You're not getting a free ride at my expense anymore. Now, if you don't believe me, I just want you to know, I already did the Greens and the Libertarian votes today. One last thing. Someone said to me, the reason why I haven't made it on the national stage is because I bring on faces of people who may have had psychological challenges, physiological challenges. Maybe I don't look great. Maybe my people here, some people in the past that I brought on, wasn't what you use, the people you usually see on TV. Well, guess what? They're Americans, right. and they matter. Humanity really does matter. And if I need to be a phony mofo to be on national TV, I'm more than happy enough to be on public access and to somebody out there with a brain who gets rid of stereotypes and stigma will finally say, you know, I like the fact that he brings on people that wouldn't otherwise have a chance. If you don't like what I do, turn off the station. But I'm not backing down, and I'm not going to be subjugating any human being. Every human being on this planet matters, and you better get it straight. We're about ready to talk about my dad, but before, Linnell, you got somebody that we're going to put on TV real fast. Well, Kurt and Monica, um, I'd like you to uh, run the clip of a uh, Senator Barack Senator Obama. Senator Barack Obama. Uh, campaign uh, um, rally here at uh, the Mellon Arena, and uh, I'd like to uh, say g and give a thanks to Senator Barack Obama and a thanks to Joe Biden, uh, and I'd like to say God bless Barack Obama, God, God bless, bless Joseph Biden, and God bless the American people, and guess what? God bless America. And God bless John McCain. And God bless John American. McCain. He's American too. So if you would run the clips. By who we are or what we believe, because despite what our opponents may claim, there are no real and fake parts of this country. There's no city or town that's more pro America than anywhere else. Stranger in when the floodwaters rise. 
and the soldiers who we enlist after losing a limb. I see it in the faces of the men and women I've met at countless rallies and town meetings across the country. Men and women who speak of their struggles, but also speak of their hopes and their dreams. You know, I, I, I still remember an email. I still remember an email. I still remember an email that a woman named Robin sent to me after I met her in Fort Lauderdale. Sometimes, sometime after uh, our event, her son nearly went into cardiac arrest and was later diagnosed with a heart condition that could only be treated by a procedure that cost tens of thousands of dollars. And her insurance company refused to pay. And her family just didn't have that kind of money. And in her email, Robin wrote, I ask only this of you. On the days where you feel so tired you can't think of uttering another word to the people, think of us. When those who oppose you have you down, reach deep and fight back hard.